few minutes ago, we showed you that great reunion of the Eyewitness News team, including meteorologist Bruce Schwegler. As we were going through the old clips, we found some proof that things don't always go as planned, especially <laughs> when it comes to the weather wall. Let's take a quick look here at a satellite tape from the first half of today. Well, let's take a quick look here at a radar picture from right now instead of the first half of today. Oh, hey, shoot the birds, shoot them. Let's take another look at that West Coast situation. At this time, we see, hello, Liv. Hello, Liv. <laughs> that is our West Coast reporter, Liz Walker. Come in, Liz Walker. Sunny and cool and windy weather for Thursday and Friday. That's the good news. We'll take the sun any way we can get it. Uh, this is the way tomorrow looks. <laughs> tomorrow, Tom Snyder's not supposed to be here right now. Well, anyway, it's going to be some blue sky on Thursday, and we're going to have more of this blue sky on Friday. But in the meantime, uh, I'm trying to give you a satellite picture, and I guess I'm not going to get it, so uh, maybe I ought to walk in through the time warp here and just disappear. Well, let's go right to, well, too late. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the aerobics. Walls. Yeah, I guess that was great too. Since everything was mechanical, things just kind of got caught up once right. in a while, I right? There are more issues that Bruce had with that than we have with the computer system. Knock on wood, it's usually pretty good. We don't have too many glitches. No. It'll probably freeze up now. Of course. We do have the old uh, magic oh, wands. Oh, well. yeah. They drag the words. Right. So these are, oh. you know, they always come up with something. This is right. going to be the thing we're going to do for the next 10 years. Yeah. And they had all these tricks like you know, dragging words around or moving highs and lows. We usually hate these. Personally, because they go wrong, right? You end up with the blues. Sure. I say bring them back. Right. You look like Bob Barker or I something. I say, it looks like you can make a sandwich. Cold front, come on wheel. down. You're the next contestant on Keep Our Weather Dry. Let's take a look at what's going on today. We've got our sunshine that's been trying to move its way on in from the north and west, bringing us some brightening out there. The denser cloud cover has been shifting off to the south and east. That's allowed temperatures to warm up. So we've had readings in the 70s to low 80s this afternoon, 60s in southeastern Massachusetts, turning into a pretty mild day. In fact, that has been a story for most of the country. Temperatures have been quite warm and will continue to be quite warm for much of this May. One cooler pocket is where there's been a lot of rainfall, and that is Florida up to the mid-Atlantic. It has been a soaking week, and it's going to continue for the next few days. Some huge rain totals there. We've just kind of dabbled in the rain. A little bit of light rainfall early this morning south of the pike. Now our cold front coming to the rescue and pushing our storm system back off to the south. Slight chance for some coastal drizzle tonight. Otherwise, we're looking at partly cloudy skies and lows falling back into the low 50s. Tomorrow, we go back to the cool weather. We'll have an east wind at 10 to 20. So partly sunny skies. Again, more cloud cover to the south. Less cloud cover to the north. We'll stay in the 50s with that wind off the Atlantic, and especially if you're near the water, it's going to add some extra chills. So if you're going to be anywhere near the coastline, light jackets could be the way to go for tomorrow. Our sunset at 8.02 for Friday night. I think we stay dry all day with 50s near the shore and low 60s inland, mid 60s if your travels take you out toward the Connecticut River Valley. So a cool night at Fenway. I think we'll stay dry for that one as well. Then on Saturday, rain during the day, likely to taper to drizzle by the evening. As long as they can get the field in good condition, dry things out, they might be able to get that game in on Saturday night. As for the Cape and the Islands, 50s tomorrow staying dry. Saturday, scattered showers turning muggier as the day goes on. It'll be quite humid on Saturday night. And then on Sunday, a chance for a scattered shower in the 60s. And again, very humid on the Cape and the Islands for Sunday. So here's a look at how it all plays out. The rain looks to arrive around mid-morning on Saturday. I think there'll be an arm of rainfall that moves up across the area. Most of it mid-morning to mid-afternoon afternoon, tapering off to some drizzle and fog on Saturday night. Then we watch a cold front move in from the west on Sunday, arriving right around midday. There will likely be a couple scattered showers or even some thunderstorms around that time on Sunday from west to east. It'll be a humid second half of the weekend. Temps well into the 70s, very muggy for one day. Then we're going to bring in the drier air. Those dew points will take a tumble by the time we get towards Sunday night. So here's a look at the full seven day. After a warm Sunday, we're looking at another warm Monday. Monday seems to be the pick of the week lately, near 80. On Tuesday, some showers in the 70s, and then some more 70s on Wednesday. Predominantly a warm forecast, except for, of course, start of this weekend.